beautiful past Christiane, the city hosting their holiday event coming up on Friday. Yeah, should be a lot of fun as always. Joining us this afternoon to tell us more about it, Andy Perchner and Lindsay Fowler. Thank you so much for being here. Good to have you all with us. Thank you, you all for having me. And Andy, of course, um, this is wonderful. The fire department always involved in this event too. And um, you started for all kinds of activities for the whole family all day, yep. all evening. This is the 38th annual uh, Christmas in the past. This is our second year actually taking it over. Uh, the event's going to start at 4 o'clock, end at 10. Um, our parade is going to roll at 6 o'clock, be delivering Santa to the pavilion where he will be doing the tree lighting at 645. Uh, the band will start at 7 o'clock, which is going to be category 6. They'll play all the way till 8 o'clock, which 8 o'clock is going to be our firework uh, show. It's going to be a 15 minute long oh, show. Great. Yep, and then the band's going to continue till 10 o'clock. And a lot of people, when they hear about an event in Past Christiana, assume it's down at Memorial Park, formerly known as War Memorial Park. But this is happening along uh, Davis Avenue. Yep. And that's a good uh, opportunity for retailers there to maybe do a little Christmas selling. Huh? That's it. We, um, all the businesses are going to stay open that night. Uh, we actually have 90 vendors this year between um, food and craft. So there's going to be plenty of Christmas shopping that will be able to be done. Uh, plenty of activities for the whole family. A lot of stuff for the kids to do. Uh, we have Whoville this year. Yeah, that's great. And Lindsay. tell me about Whoville, Lindsay, and, and everything else that's going to be there for the kids. The tree lighting is yes, always a big tree. moment, too. And after that, Santa comes into um, Whoville area, and we'll also have the Grinch in there. And so the kids will have coloring in there. We have um, s'mores, hot cocoa, face painting, fairy hair. There's going to be the Grinch movie playing, so it's lots for them to do. And Lindsay, this isn't just for people in the past. I imagine you have folks from all along the Gulf Coast, Everyone, you know, yeah. even up in Wiggins and Pearl River County will come down. <laughs> right? We're estimating 10,000 people this year. Really? Yes, That'd be like problem. a record? I think so. We, we were close to 9,000 <laughs> last year. Well, there's the information. It's the 38th annual Christmas in the Pass, Friday, December 1st. And that's this Friday, hard to believe, from 4 to 10. And it's downtown near the parade, fireworks, tree lighting, Whoville, yeah. everything. The Grinch that stole Christmas, <laughs> fireworks at uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, Andy, Lindsay, good to see both of you. And thanks for coming by the 4 o'clock show and being with us this afternoon. Thank you for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Coming up next.